Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a vlog on this channel. So today I'm going to give you a quick update, tell you what's been happening recently and what you can expect to see in the near future. So if you didn't see, I recently put out my edit of Ford Love and Movement Summer Edition 2016. I'll leave that in the description if you've not seen it yet. Basically, that was at the start of summer all the way at the beginning of July. And after that, we came back to England and had a little bit of a break. And then quite a lot of us from England then traveled off. Some of us for just one week, but myself and a few others traveled for three weeks, starting in Amsterdam again, but then heading through Germany, beginning with Cologne, then heading down to Stuttgart, eventually Frankfurt, and finally Munich. Uh, and then after that, we actually ended up spending one extra night in Manchester because the trains, the plane was delayed and the trains stopped running back so we couldn't get home that night. But yeah, we found somewhere to stay in Manchester and then that was it, the trip was done. So even though I did record lots of footage from all those different places, I've not recorded specifically one thing for a vlog or just one simple video. It's been lots and lots of footage that I'm going to save up and hopefully make an even bigger video. Look out for that coming soon. But yeah, I didn't take the time to record one small vlog. I know, lazy right? <laughs> so I'm just going to give you a, a little recap now from uh, some of my favourite times from that three week trip. So I think we'll start with Frankfurt because something really unexpected happened in that place. We were searching around the city centre for buildings or parks, somewhere which would hopefully be quiet, we get some sleep for the next day. When a person off the streets, <laughs> when a random person off the streets offered us a place to stay to actually go back to her house because she already had two people there staying with her and she, yeah, she really likes travelling herself and wanted to hear about all our stories, where we've been, what our plans are. And yeah, we made a new friend and that was absolutely awesome. But it actually got even more crazy than that. She didn't just let us stay for the one night. She offered to let us stay for our whole time there. Even though she wasn't in the country, she actually traveled off to Belgium. And so basically she gave us the key. We worked it out and it was absolutely fine. It was a good time. We made sure that the place was left clean and tidy. Uh, kind of like couch surfing, if you've ever done that, you know exactly what I mean. But we got it for free, met a random person off the street, <laughs> and yeah, it was just a lucky day that day. Oh yeah, and she took us dumpster diving. I've not actually got any pictures that I can show you, but the amount of bread, like bakery items, and lots and lots of fruit that we got was just incredible. Uh, it's my first time ever doing that. And yeah, it's great. It's so much stuff which just thrown away. It was fresh, it was ready to eat. And so yeah, free food, win-win. <laughs> what do you want to say? Now nah, you got nothing to say. Shame. So in Stuttgart, there was plenty of stuff going down. We uh, actually slept at university two nights out of the four nights we were there. Uh, yeah, we had no trouble with that. But one night was pretty funny. We climbed to the top of the rooftop where we'd been earlier scouting, doing roof missions, you know how it is. Um, yeah, we found a nice hammock spot where there was the potential for two of us to hammock. But earlier in the day, the other two guys had spotted a mattress that had been thrown out by some of the university students. So they actually, it was like six stories up, something like that. They actually dragged the mattress all the way from the very bottom, all the way up the stairs, just so they had a nice comfy bed for the night. But props to them, obviously worked, had a good night's sleep. But I do have to give a shout out to Chris Pinto, someone who I originally met at Ford Love Movement winter last year. He lives in a town near Stuttgart, and it's like an hour's drive away, and he met us, showed us some spots in Stuttgart, and then offered for us to stay at his place, which was really nice. Uh, he actually drove two of us back, and I think there was about six, maybe seven of us, four of the English gang and two of his friends and so it was really good to meet him again, hook up on the road, train together and get to see his local spots. Thanks very much for that man. Now we come to Munich, I'm going to tell you a few stories from there. So Munich has one of the best parkour communities that I've personally ever seen. Uh, we rocked up to all the other cities and maybe saw five people, maybe max at a jam. Apart from Chris's community, that was good. It was nice to see you all there, thanks for coming. Um, but Munich, we rocked up to Red City, which I'm sure most of you know, and there was like 20 plus people there. And yeah, it was absolutely just crazy to see that many people just randomly just enjoying the sun, the summer, training vibes. So uh, now I'm going to tell you quick stories from Munich, starting off with jumping in the river at Tykerton. That was my first ever 
river jump outside, I guess you could say, first jump into water, probably four, maybe four and a half meters. Both Adam and Tristan flipped off it, so shout out to them, crazy guys. Maybe I'll join you in the future. Speaking of crazy guys, we actually met up with Yanis Shower. I'm sure most of you know who that guy is. And we saw him do a ridiculous cat pass to precision. And just generally, it's always nice to train with everyone in Munich. I feel that their level is uh, higher than some of the UK scene, definitely higher than my own abilities. So it's nice to train with them. I always seem to come away with some kind of progression, which is good. And I just want to say a big thank you to two of the girls from Munich who let us stay at their houses on separate nights. One of them saved us from a savage looking thunderstorm that was going down. We were going to sleep under a bridge that night until the water started coming through the bridge and then she offered to let us stay at her house. So thank you very much for that. Just to recap on a few things that happened earlier in the trip, parkour park opening in Amsterdam. We got, we didn't see the official opening, but we trained there like day two, I think it was. That was a really good park. Can't wait to see what movement people are gonna throw down there. The Cologne Lights, basically a massive fireworks festival that happens once a year. A 30 minute performance that's synced to music. And we just luckily, a local, he uh, told us about it earlier in the day. We took a train there and it was absolutely incredible. One of the best I've ever seen. And the list goes on and on. I'm just gonna cut it now to one final story. And that's waking up on the top of a roof next to a building site, climbing up the crane for sunrise in the centre of Cologne, uh, getting back down, taking some more pictures, going back to sleep for a little while, and then waking up early enough to see just through a window, there was basically an all-you-can-eat buffet, croissants, yogurts, fruit, cereal, and we walked in, took advantage of it, and got a free all-you-can-eat breakfast. <laughs> was a good start to the morning. One final thing, big shout out to Fabricated Minds on Instagram. Basically, he hooks up with a huge abandoned industrial building like site, I guess you could say, because it had all the machinery in it and it was just abandoned. So of course, we took the time to go explore it. Um, basically, there was three chimney shafts going all the way to the roof. It was like a tiny little box room that we had to crawl inside of. And then it was iron rungs. It wasn't like a closed in ladder. It was just iron rungs all the way to the roof. And yeah, it was about 50, 60 meters tall. So it was pretty sketchy. But since it was our last day, um, who knows when we'll return. I said, come on boys, we're gonna do this. But yeah, we took the risk and got greeted by the reward at the top. The rooftop views were absolutely incredible. You could see all of Munich for miles around and I think that pretty much sums up the trip although some of my favorite parts of the trip I know there'll be so many that I'll look back on and remember and think damn I missed that I missed that but yeah boy and in the future I'm just going to try and vlog one day from some of the trip when well, I know something great something crazy maybe something unexpected might happen uh, and then that way I'll be able to keep the YouTube channel active while I'm away because in a couple of days now actually myself Adam Daw again and Ali Law are going on a two-week trip we're starting in Sweden traveling through Poland and then finishing things off in Belgium just to say I don't take my laptop with me on trips I don't know when we're gonna get Wi-Fi and for safety reasons more importantly I don't know where we're gonna be sleeping but when I get back you can be sure there'll be regular uploads to the channel and thanks for watching